Good evening, um, Deborah Louie back here and I just thought I'd give you a little bit more information about me quilting this free motion circles um, around my circles for my bubbles of fun quilt which is an ice spy quilt. So I'm just quilting um, down this outside edge I've just got non-slip rubber mats on my hands. I'm just gonna fold it over here to, so it doesn't get on the plate. And these just grip onto my hands and grip onto the fabric. So for pebbles like this, uh, free motioning circles, uh, the trick here is that you need to go clockwise and then counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. So our first one I'm going to go here is let's go i'm sorry i've just got to get it out of settings here okay that was anti-clockwise now i'm going to have a little one clockwise then anti-clockwise stop and then go clockwise so my pebbles here are all different sizes um i i, I don't usually i'll do a grid if i want a consistent size um, but this one i want them a little bit more organic so that one's clockwise. I'm going to go around again just to go into the anti clockwise. I'm not having them really dense, I'm having them open. So it's really quite organic, whatever way I feel. That's clock. Now that's anti clockwise. Stop. And clock. And I'm going to put my mats here, the non-slip mats. See how I've got my hands framed around the needle. Pushing off with my fingertips. And that's a clockwise. I'm going to travel back to an anti-clockwise. I'm just going to do some little ones to get out of that. So as you can see, they're all different sizes and shapes. And that's fun for this type of quilt. Okay, now I'm going to go clock and then anti. Stop. Reposition myself, get myself comfortable again. I don't quilt out of my frame and my frame is between my thumbers, thumbers, my fingers and my thumbs. Okay, push off with my fingertips. Anti or counterclockwise and then clock. Anti. Stop. Reframe down, always working inside my frame with my hands, not doing too much before I stop and reposition. My needle isn't overly fast. It suits how fast I want to move the fabric. Clockwise. Stop here and I'm just going to go in between now a little bit and I'm just going to do half the circle there because now I'm going to come and I'm going to ditch around this applicated circle while I'm here I'm just going to do a little circle while I'm here, I'm just going to do another little circle. I'm just going to get out and just come in here. Now a little circle, and that'll get me to ditch this <coughs> larger shape here. And, <coughs> excuse me, when I'm ditching, I'm trying to go as close as I can on the background fabric as close as I can to my turned blind hem edge. You can see that I'm stopping a lot. I'm gonna put a bubble in there, a circle in there while I'm stopped. Put another one in there while I'm stopped. In there. Around. I'll just stop and have a look where I'm going. Little, little bites. I don't quilt too much at any time because I'm looking to see where I'm going. Okay. <clears throat> I'll 
go back into this circle here and to come around and finish ditching this small little circle which I haven't finished. So I quilted around there, then I'm coming back out. I'm going to travel down and quilt across. If you'd like to learn more frame motion, these skills, as well as a whole lot of others, I have an online class called The Magical Six, which is on debralouis.com.au. It takes you through free motion quilting, my particular style, about really framing and doing little bits at a time, stopping and analysing where you've got to go before you start. Um, it's a $30 class and it's quite a few hours, about four hours or so, pra really practical information. And lots of designs. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now.